And you guys are responsible for yourself for picking up your plates and stuff like that, and they'll be at the back of the thing tonight. Okay, the back table back here. Okay, any questions on those desserts? Anything button sauces? Side dish. It's anything but side dish, okay? Okay, well, as far as your products goes, remember that when you turn your entry in, the number should be on top. Each container must contain at least six separate pieces of meat or portions of your entry. The amount of pulled chopped or chopped meat is presumed to contain enough for six judges. Garnish and sauce are optional on your part. Remember, pork is defined as Boston Button, Boston Rose, Picnic, and or Home Shoulder, weighing a minimum of four pounds at time of inspection. After trimming, pork should be cooked whole, bone in or bone out. However, once cooked, it may be separated and returned to the cooker. At the cook's discretion, it may be turned in chopped, pulled, chunk, sliced, or any combination thereof. Cooked is defined as according to the USDA as achieving an internal temperature of 145 for the pork and brisket and 165 for chicken. Just a reminder that you do have that 10 minute window to get your product in. The official time, we'll hold it up there. Official time right now, 304. Folks, you have a chance to see this clock again tomorrow morning between 8 and 8.30. Mike Garrison will be taking the clock around to show you that tomorrow. What's that? Are you, okay. We're at the 2016 Lakeland Pig Fest, and we are working the Kids Q contest, and the kids are just coming in right now for their chicken category. These kids range in age from 6 to 10 and 11 to 15. They're separated by their age groups so that everybody gets a fair shake. They're having a good time. The parents can help a little bit, but they can't do the cooking. The kids all have to do their own cooking. Parents can take care of the sharp knives and the fire. That's about it. These guys are doing a great job, and they're all having a good time doing it. You see the smiles. We have 38 kids in this year's um, Kids Q event. They cooked steak, barbecue sauce, and chicken, all three categories. wide variety of uh, finishes on the steaks, uh, somewhere overdone and somewhere nice and pink. Uh, I was impressed at the, of the sear on the steaks and the flavorings. Um, my favorite was this one right here. It was the most tender and uh, all, overall I was very impressed with the work that these young people did. Very, very well done. Amazing. Yeah, for the age of the children that are uh, cooking these steaks, the complexity of the flavors that are in each one is so incredible. You would never think that a young child uh, would have that kind of uh, talent to come up with these kind of flavors. Um, and uh, just to show the difference in, in flavoring, uh, my favorite was this one right here. It was cooked perfectly and the, the, the taste and flavor was just awesome. So everybody has a little different uh, flavor profile, which is what it's all about. I was uh, very impressed with the uh, flavor and how tender it was. Um, it was very well cooked for uh, a younger age. Wonderful uh, steak entries this year. Um, I would have to say that 
Number five was probably the most flavorful. All of them were very tender, not an overdone piece in the, in the lot. What an excellent blend of taste and tenderness. Wonderful steaks this year. I would have to say that this was my favorite five, and uh, one was very uh, tender and flavorful as well. best chicken that I've had in a long while. I have absolutely no least favorite and no most favorite. I felt that all of them were equally balanced. None of them were overcooked. It was a very, very good round of chicken. All were good chicken entries with number two being the most tender and most flavorful for me and number five was a little mushy for me. Number five was my favorite. It, it was very good. I liked the lingering flavors of the sauce and it was very tender. My least favorite was number four because it was mine was mushy uh, and it didn't seem to be cooked properly. Uh, and my favorite was number three. Uh, had good flavor. It had a good smoke taste to me. Uh, my least favorite was probably number four. Uh, don't know that I have a good reason, just my least favorite, but they were all good. Hi, my favorite was number one and number three. Both were excellent. My least favorite was number four. Four had a little bit of a different taste. It was good, but just not my uh, liking, and the tenderness was off just a little bit. One and three were good all the way across. Um, <clears throat> I agree. Um, one and three were very, very good. Number four, uh, five had an unusual taste and it was a little bit dry, but one and three were my favorite. <laughs> Now we're on. Well, today all five ribs were pretty decent, but I particularly like number one. It had a nice uh, tenderness. And what? Hi. Anyway, it had a nice tenderness, a nice pull, a little bit of resistance, nice flavor. Um, I can't say that I, any one was particularly bad. Though the one I didn't like, or I liked the least, but it was still up there, was number three. It just had a, an appearance that wasn't clean and didn't present itself well, but the taste and the uh, and the tenderness were okay. okay. All righty. I like number two. It had a good tenderness and taste to it. My favorite was number four. Uh, it had a little bit of heat to it, uh, but the I one thought was mostly gone. Yes. <laughs> how, could, how could you tell? Uh, it, 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 it's a little bit unique because of the heat, but uh, the tenderness and the taste to me was outstanding. The uh, one I favored the least was number three. Uh, there hardly was enough meat on there to really sample. Uh, it was tough to get a bite out of it. Thank you. Um, my least favorite was number three. 
uh, the appearance was not good and um, had a strange taste. Um, my very favorites were four and five, and I wouldn't be able to pick which one I like. They were excellent. <clears throat> Favorite was number four. It was done well, flavored nicely, but could, you could still taste the pork. The, the sauce and, and uh, rub didn't overpower the basic meat flavor. Uh, my least favorite was three. It was uh, you know, presented in a way and the knife skills kind of showed that they were either in a hurry or didn't put the same care level that uh, a lot of the other entries had. Uh, my favorite would be number two. It had a good overall taste, uh, not overpowering at all, very tender. My least favorite would be number three. Uh, I found it to be uh, dry, overcooked, tough, and just a very mediocre taste. Number four was, was my favorite, had a good taste to it and nice and tender. My worst one was the third one. Uh, tasted like mustard, a uh, little soggy. And I also enjoyed uh, the last one, but it was a little tough around the edges. I also concur that uh, number uh, four was definitely uh, very tasty, tender, looked good. Uh, I also concur that number three lead needed a little bit to be desired. And uh, the number five was also very good. So all in all, not bad. Uh, number one was a money muscle. I liked that a lot. Uh, number two didn't have much flavor. Number three was uh, pretty well done. Um, well done by meaning, I mean overdone. And had a nice, but a nice vinegar flavor. Um, Number four was mushy. Number five was uh, a sweet entry, but it was uh, a little on the dry side. I believe number one was my favorite. It had a good flavor, kind of a pot roast flavor. It was moist and just really good. Probably my least favorite was number five. Uh, it was dry. It was dry. And number four didn't look very good, but it, it tasted all right to me. My favorite was number one. Uh, it had a nice meaty taste with a little bit of smoke. The tenderness was right on. Uh, my least favorite was number four. Uh, I think they cut it with the grain instead of across the grain. And I had really fatty pieces with incredibly tough bark on it that I couldn't break through or, or eat. Judges, thanks so much for judging with us today. I appreciate it. Uh, number two, three, and four were tender enough, but there wasn't anything remarkable about them. Number five was very tough, I thought. Number one was perfect, I thought. It was just right tenderness. It had a great meaty taste that, uh, that, that wasn't hid by any kind of extra flavoring.